Hi everyone! See what main dining room lunch food and menus are like from Celebrity Cruises. These were from our late December 2022 and early 2023 cruises on the Celebrity Apex and then the Celebrity Millennium. Like other major cruise lines, lunch at the main dining room is only served on sea days. On Celebrity Cruises, sea day lunch is available from noon to 1.30 p.m. So we will show you two lunches from the Celebrity Apex. Now during our cruise on the Millennium, there were four lunches, though two of them had the same menu as the Apex. So for comparison, you'll see a few of the same dishes from the two ships. Let us know which one looked better to you with a comment. So the last two of the four lunches in this video will be from the Celebrity Millennium only, since again, the Apex cruise only had two sea days. By the way, there are a few entrees that are only on the menu from the Apex, so we assume they're also available on other Edge-class ships but likely not the other ships in Celebrity's fleet. So here we go. First the bread and the burger, which are available for each lunch, and then onward to lunch on sea day number one. Enjoy. The bun is nice and fluffy, airy. The patty is actually nice and smoky and juicy, actually. Can we see the inside of it? Huh? I tried a fry. Fries are good. Need some ketchup. It's actually this burger. Surprisingly, the patty is actually nice and juicy and have a smoky taste to it. Very good. Thank you very much. Crunchy outside. I like how they give you a fat piece of cheese. It's just melted butter, medium rare. Mm. Nice and smoky. Nothing complicated seasoning. Just very simple with salt and pepper and then melted butter on top. That's good. It's not as crunchy as I thought. It's not bad, but it's great. It's really good. With some uh, shishaki mushrooms. That by itself. Mm. It's actually tender. Mm. That's good. And the sauce is flavorful and yet not too salty. The skin is not crispy, but it's okay. It's okay. I, I didn't expect that. But I like how the meat is nice and tender. Um, it doesn't have that much flavor to it. But with the sauce, teriyaki sauce, it's pretty good. Mm. 
Mm. Chuck is very tender in the sauce. It's kind of gravy like. Mm. Good. Pork knuckle penny. Barbecue flavor. It's exactly kind of like pulled pork. Not bad. I like the nice smoky flavor from the um, the barbecue sauce. Just mix into the um, the meat and then the uh, coleslaw. Coleslaw. Not bad. Bread. It's kind of crispy outside, but the inside is a little bit dry. But the pulled pork. It has a nice barbecue flavor, barbecue sauce flavor to it. Not bad. Mm, I like the Parmesan cheese. What's this? Oh, artichoke. It's artichoke in there. Good vegetarian dish. Totally can taste the pesto. Mm, good. Simple yet satisfying. Oh, I like the raspberry, my favorite. Mm. Canol give a nice crunch. Contrast to the tenderness of the um, peach and then the ice cream. That's good. It's comforting. Yum. And seems somewhat healthy because all the fruits you're eating. This you can eat without guilt. Or as <laughs> much guilt. <laughs> This is strawberry shortcake. It's okay. Ooh, raspberry. And the blueberry. I would take that. Aha! Uh -huh. You made your own dessert. That's all I want. Yeah, the quick. It doesn't have the smoothness to it, or fluffiness. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, sorry. Apple, apple. It's good. Apple is nice and soft. The wrap outside is, has a nice little crunch to it. And then the cinnamon flavor. It's really good. Not too sweet. I like it. Beef is tender. You can taste the peanut butter, um, 
the lemongrass and then the curry. It's kind of like Thai style. Sweet and ooh, has a nice hit to it. Let me try the chicken. Mmm. Chicken is so tender. That's a good uh, appetizer. I love nice and tender. The rice, they cook it really good. The consistency of the rice is almost like sticky rice. And the shrimp. Cooked perfectly nice and crunchy. This one has a little smokiness to it. It's a nice dish. It's kind of small though. Lots of rice. Lots of rice, but it's not need a second. Oh, just... Barbecue chicken, look at it, it looks so pretty. With grits. The uh, barbecue sauce is pretty good. Mm. That's a nice, interesting dish. I never tried with grits before. It's pretty good. Banana Cambolay. There's some banana. If you like banana, Cambolay, this is for you. I prefer the original. It's not bad. Cambolay is good, nice and creamy, eggy. And then, bam! First with banana flavor. You would like the banana foster then, huh? <laughs> What's that? Banana foster. I think cooked banana, once the bananas cook, the flavor is it's, um, it's much stronger, I think. And then the texture is also different too. Huh. It's not bad. It's actually a pretty good combination, you know, but um, I just personally like the original one with it. There's just nothing else than just the creme brulee. It's not bad. Creme is good. And those were the main dining room lunches from the first two sea days. Coming up are days three and four, which were only from the Celebrity Millennium, since on the Apex, we only had two sea days. Take a look. Some vegetable and um, barbecue pork. Let's see if I can do the barbecue pork. Mm, it's good. The udon, they cook it really nicely. It has some texture to it, they didn't overcook it. And the, the sauce is. Um, Nice and light. I like the ginger flavor in the sauce. Barbecue pork is pretty good too. Slightly dry though. Let me try the prawn. The shrimp is nice and crunchy. I like the flavor of the sauce. And I like how they, they don't want to like, put too much sauce on it. So I, I kind of like that. And it's good.
Ooh, super tender. Look at that. I don't even have to use like a knife. Look at that. I can just pull it out with my knife, my, my fork here. Some mashed potatoes, some beans. <laughs> mm. The lamb is like so tender. It's like melt in your mouth. The sauce is uh, nice and kind of might be sweet. It's good. I like it. This is really good. The lamb is just like super tender. So you don't even have to use a knife. Look. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at how tender that is. Mm, that's really good. Pork ribs. Ooh, because look at that, it's falling off the bone. Very fatty, I can tell. It's silky, soft, tender, juicy, and the barbecue sauce is really nice. Okay. Brownie, ice cream. That's so good. That brown is so good. That is a one happy bite right there. Mm. The brownie is so moist. The ice cream goes so well with it. And then the crunchy, crunchiness from the almond. Oh my god. Yum, yum. Good job. The rhubarb is probably a little sour. Not at all. It's good. With blueberries. That's a really big bite. That's a good panna cotta. Nice chunks of blueberries I put in there. And I definitely can taste the orange flavor underneath here, right here. Now, second, jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. I'm having too much fun here. Mm. That's good. That's really good panna cotta. It's a nice, smooth texture. Blueberry soup. You mean schmoody? <laughs> Seriously, it's smoothie. It's not soup. <laughs> Blueberry. Schmoody. What's this one? Cheese? The floaty cheese? No. Yogurt. It's cheesy, but the texture is kind of like whipped cream, thick whipped cream like. It's better with that, that little floaty cheese uh, whipped cream. But seriously, it's smoothie.
so fried chicken, baby pancake, with a little bit of syrup. Very cute. Thank <laughs> Fried chicken. The seasoning is good. The batter, I think it could be a little bit more crispy. They put a little bit of syrup on here. And then it, so it softened the, the, um, the batter a little bit. It's pretty good. I actually like the seasoning of it. Yeah, it's not bad. Simple. The amount is kind of small than I expected, but. There you go. It's become your sauce. Lentil. They cook it very, really good. Nice and smooth. Mm. And then a little crunch from the mushroom. That's good. That's a very simple yet delicious dish. I like that. Veal liver, chunks of some apple here. Have a little bit with sauce here. It's pretty good. It's not as strong as as um, beef liver. Not too too livery, even though I know it's liver. It's actually pretty good. Alrighty. The perfect bite. Mm. That makes it so much better. The apple make it more pleasant. Like the sweetness from the apple and then the bacon, the smoky bacon kind of overpowered the liver a little bit so it's not the liver flavor is not too strong and all that combined oh you have to combine together in one bite that's when it makes it so good yes it's good actually i really like it grilled salmon The skin is nice and crispy. The top here has some olives and vinaigrette. That's really nice. It has a Mediterranean flavor to it. I like it. It's very um, healthy and delicious. Good. Pad Thai. These are some good size shrimp. Let's try with the eggs. Big piece of shrimp there. Shrimp is nice and crunchy. Cooked perfectly. And the noodles has a nice texture to it. And um, the sauce has a nice um, flavor to it. A little bit sweet. Salty sauce. It's just a stir fry noodles. I don't taste. It's not like pad thai. There's nothing pad thai about it. Other than the shrimp and the egg, the texture of the noodles, they definitely cook it well. And the shrimp as well. So, overall, I definitely would order, order this again. Um, it's, it's delicious. Just not pad thai though. Key lamp high. There you go. Mmm, it's good. I can taste the, the um, lime. And the, um, the middle there is nice and like silky soft. It's almost like the consistency of the um, cream. Custard. There we go. Nice, silky, soft, like custard-like, and the lime. 
flavor is not too overpowering. And then the light uh, pie crust. That is really good. Peanut pie. This yogurt here and pear. Mm. Pear is so soft, it just melts in your mouth and has a, some a gentle sweetness from the pear. And then the crust, it's like a cookie crust kind of. And then cream is from the yogurt. That's really nice. I like this. I like this. The, the texture, the, the, cr the crust, and the pear, the soft pear combined. That's really nice. It's a good crumble. Oh, and a little crispy one from the walnuts. It's nice too. That's a good dessert. Very dramatic with the sauce there. It's a pretty looking art. Kiwi here. Let me try this one. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get the part with this. There's some um, custard. Take another bite, just for you guys. Fruit bag. Probably not the best uh, fruit tart I've tried because I think the the uh, the bread underneath a little bit too dry and it's a lot of it. Yeah, it's a little bit too dry. I think overall it's not too too bad. So, and those were appetizers, main entrees, and desserts from Celebrity's Sea Day Lunch. How did they look? Which dishes would you order? We look forward to reading your comments. And please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Happy cruising and we'll see you soon in another video.